Well, it may be summer, but the Belvedere School District's already thinking ahead to winter. This evening, board members are expected to consider a new way of handling snow days. Our Jess Lipson spent the day learning more about the proposal. And Jess, this would involve more at-home learning? Mimi, it would at least give that option. The goal isn't to take away all the snow days, but provide alternative plans opposed to just canceling the day and tacking them on at the end of the school year. Create those support structures so that we're prepared in a situation where it's simply unsafe to come to school on that particular day. A yes to the e-learning vote would give the Belvedere School District the option of at-home instruction instead of taking off of school for snow emergencies. Depending on the nature of the emergency day, the timing, uh, our ability to make a call the night before. Uh, so I think those factors are all gonna come into play in terms of deciding if it's gonna be a traditional snow day or if it would be a remote or an e-learning day for our students. A change wouldn't completely take away days off for snow. The first snow day would always cancel classes. Any snow days that follow, remote learning could be used. The goal is to lessen the extra days added to the end of the school year. I think remote snow days are a great idea. I think it's the kids have a lot of things that they can do at home as long as they have their internet and their devices and then they can still enhance their learning. I think it's a good way to make sure everybody stays safe in the weather. I hate driving in the snow, so for me, I would be relieved. The school has plans in place to assist families without the necessary resources to learn from home. We would be sending home Chromebooks with our students that needed Chromebooks or access. We have some district Wi-Fi uh, hotspots that would be available to families. And we also would have the option of completing work uh, via packets or written information for those students and families that might not have reliable access, uh, might not really be able to use a hotspot. If the vote does go through, there will be a survey at the beginning of the year for households with unreliable Wi-Fi to get in touch with the district for hotspots or computer needs. Mimi? All right, thanks, Jess.